guys welcome back to science lessons so today we are going to do convex mirror part that means images formed by convex mirrors so let's see let us do activity 9.14 to observe the nature of image formed by convex mirrors so let's see activity 9.14 you will need a convex mirror a mirror holder a candle a screen and a meter ruler so you have to keep this like the before before part in before that means in last part i told you that in concave mirrors also like this is happen that means we do actually like this and you can place it like 9.38 and place it in a and see whether can be can um, can be get into a screen or image upright or inverted and image is equal or uh, smaller or long uh, sorry bigger than the object so you have to do like this in b and c too so let's see C. Place the candle close to the mirror and try to obtain image formed onto a screen. And that's what I just told you. So after that, tab you in here. You have to. You also have to tabulate. So in there they say table nine point seven. Um, if we fill the table, um, if we fill the table, if you fill the table you have to compare your observations with the uh, with with the table that the textbook gives so this is the one so table 9.8 point where candle is kept a cannot be obtained to screen upright smaller than the object so in b c places it also happen because it's a convex mirror so remember that when convex mirrors are there upright images form cannot be obtained to screen smaller than the object wherever it is okay so it is clear that the nature of image does not change with the distance between the object and concave convex mirror changes so let us engage in activity 9.15 and study about the images formed by curved mirrors so in here you have to do a thing like this so uh, two you will need two candles which are same in size and shape and watch glass a screen and a mirror holder so after that uh, you have to place a lighter candle on point a in front of convex surface of the watch glass as shown in figure 9.40 so you have to get it like this okay that means you have to prepare this like this i i am not going to tell it again and again but you have to keep in a b c and tabulate observations but they have given they haven't given anything so uh, that's the thing so in there try to obtain an image to onto the screen but we cannot actually so however instances where convex mirrors are used in day to day life so in there they have given only one uh, as side mirrors of vehicles the driver can view a large rear area of a vehicle in the side mirror because convex mirror forms is smaller upright images so that's the thing you have to remember that and convex mirrors are use very useful to drivers to this uh, thing so i will tell you another thing it's about also drivers um, i think when you go i i think you have seen that when you go on a road there are some uh, post that means you know posts post 
which has uh, which is red and the upper feet there is a mirror to see what happens in there so that is that means that place has been um, that place has given birth to many many uh, deaths that means deaths means like accidents so they get a mirror like this and remember that that mirror or that means road mirror also uh, they have a convex mirror so that's for today hope you get a good knowledge about these ones so our our class is also that means our lesson is also finished so see you with another lesson